Hello and welcome to Akash X. And this is going to be a tutorial video for all new members who have literally just signed up with Akash X. And you need to understand the process in order to. So, the first thing you're going to want to have to do is obviously log into your Akash X back office, which is what you can see on the screen. The second thing you're going to have to do is open a trading account with a broker. Now, I'm using Vantage FX, and um, if you're using another broker, the process is going to be quite similar, but your broker website is going to look different from what I'm showing you today. So you're going to need your Akash X back office, and you're going to also need um, a brokerage account. Okay, the brokerage account is where we actually are going to be using those funds Trade. First of all, we're going to open up a demo account and then we're going to be trading on the demo for at least seven days uh, before we actually go into the funded account challenge. And the reason being is that I would like everybody to be in position to pass the funded account challenge the first round because there is no second try, there is no third try. You get one shot at passing the funded challenge. So I want to make sure that everybody understands how to use uh, MetaTrader 5 or MetaTrader 4, if that's the, the platform you're going to be using, and also to understand how to take the trades into their trading apps, which is going to be sent to them via the Akash X app as well. So just, just, just I am going to show you that today. Okay, so... First thing, log into your Akash X back office, which is what you can see on my screen. And then what you need to do, as you can see here where it says trading account, it says not connected. So right now we want to work on getting this connected for you. So go ahead and click on getting started. And then on the right-hand side, you can see it's asking you to connect your trading accounts, okay? So some of you may be using MetaTrader 4, some of you may be using MetaTrader 5, some of you may be using TradeLocker. My tutorial is going to be on a MetaTrader 5 account um, because I noticed that in the back office of CashX, they do have some tutorial videos and they basically show you how to utilize MetaTrader 5. So I may as well stick to what they're doing and use MetaTrader 5, okay? Then here is asking you for an account number. I'm gonna just remove that. And it's also asking you for a password and for you to confirm the password, it's asking your broker name and it's asking you your server name as well, all right? So we, we need these things in order to connect the demo account. So let's go over to Vantage FX. Um, if you don't have a Vantage FX account, um, just ask me for the link. I can send you the link for you to create your Vantage account. And if you do have a Vantage account, that's fine. Uh, but you will need to go ahead and open a demo account. All right. So on the home screen, you can see um, a couple of trading accounts. If you have some open, they will be here. There is a more button right here. Go ahead and click on the more button. And then... Right now, you want to click on Open Accounts. And then you can see the option. There is a Live Account option here, and there's also an account option here. So we're going to switch over to the Demo Account option. The recommended is MetaTrader 5. If you do the drop down, you can see MetaTrader 4 is there, but I'm going to leave it on MetaTrader 5 for now. Uh, choose an account type. We're going to go with Standard. Choose a currency, we're going to go with USD. Choose a leverage, we're going to go to 1 to 100. Choose a balance, we're going to go with 10,000. Okay, so all these credentials, 1 to 100, standard pound, USDT, this is going to be the same inputs that you would put when you're doing your uh, funded account. Obviously, the balance is going to be 50K, but here we're going to work with 10K. So then go ahead and click on Submit. Click on Submit you will um, come to this drop down right here and make sure you are on demo accounts, okay? <clears throat> and you will see all the demo accounts you have open. So this is the one right here that 
we will be utilizing. So once you create an account, Vantage will send you an email with your login details. All right, they will send you an email. It's going to have a password, it's going to have a username, and it's going to have a server name. So you just want to pop over to your email and go ahead and get those credentials ready. And once those credentials are ready, you can go over to your Cash X platform and put those details in. All right, so I'm going to go over to Cash X, put those details in. So in account number, you're going to put the account number there. I would recommend that you copy and paste these credentials, especially the password, because sometimes they have different symbols and characters. So you definitely want to um, copy and paste them okay, to make life easier for you. And then once you have put your um, account number in, your password, you confirm your password, it's going to ask you to select a broker. So you just want to click on the drop down menu and search for Vantage FX. Click that. And then it's asking you to select your server. So that will also be in the email that they sent to you. So you just want to double check is okay uh, and there. now once you have done that you want to go ahead and click on connect it's asking you if you are sure you can say yes mm -hmm. And then you can see it says it's successfully connected. And we, we don't have to scroll to the top, I'm sorry. If we just click on home, your trading account is being connected, like it's connecting to your trade that a few minutes for it to show as connected. Let me try to refresh the screen. It's still connecting, but it will connect very, very shortly. It will turn green and it will come up as connected. Now, what I'm going to do is uh, show you now how to connect your same demo account onto your mobile device. So you can go to your Play Store or your App Store and go ahead and download MetaTrader 5. Once you have done that, you can click on the app. Um, I am using an Android, so it might be just slightly different to an iPhone, but it's in the process. All right, so now what we are gonna wanna do is get those credentials that they sent to you to put it in the app. So we're going to click on the three lines top left corner. We're going to go to manage accounts. We're going to click on the plus. We're going to select find broker. And we are going to search for advantage. International, which you can see is right here. We then want to select log into existing accounts and the login details that they gave to you. You want to put that in. Then where it says server, you just want to click on Vantage International Demo, if that's what your server says, which it should do. And then you can go ahead and click on Log In, and you can see the 10,000 USDT is there. So if you look at the bottom options, 
and you can see the tray button in the middle, you can see your balance for your demo account is 10,000. So that's what you need to do there. Now, if we click on quotes at the bottom, the bottom left, these are all the currency pairs that you currently have on your MetaTrader 5. Now, if one of the traders in Akash pull out a different currency pair and it's not here, what you want to do, click on the plus button, click on find symbols, and we want to type that in. So let's say, for example, they call out a BTC trade, BTC USD, type that, click on the BTC, and now you will find it in your main pairs. It's at the bottom here. So if there's ever a pair that they call out that's not in this list, just mm -hmm. click on instructions. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's go over to the <clears throat> a cash back office right here. Let me give you a quick tutorial. So everybody should download the app. So once you've signed up and you've done the connection of your um demo accounts and everything like that, you then want to download the app. Now on the home page, you can see all the different educators. So for those of you who actually are learning more on how to trade, you can see the vast variety of educators that they have here that are teaching. If we click on sessions, um, they have all of their session times. So Somebody recently said to me if their time is going to be compatible because they live in a different country. As you can see, they have an educator run at 2 a.m. UK time. So if it's Eastern time, looking at 1, 12, 11, 10, 9. So that's like 9 p.m. your time. But they have different times. So this guy's on 12 p.m. UK time, 3 a.m., 4 p.m. But this will obviously show up in your time zone. So you'll be able to... Uh, um see if you can join any of these sessions and you just click live so you can do this from your phone and you can watch them live okay we do have a list of traders who we recommend that you watch as a beginner um because they will they won't be too advanced for you now the bottom middle is trade alerts so this is where you will get the alerts that come through the app so i'm going to show you how to take a trade alert now this trade alert at the top is calling btc usd okay the trade alert was sent out four hours ago and it's still active which means you could actually still go into this trade now you want to click on open alerts and here it gives you all the credentials so what we want to look at right now is the stop loss and take profit one. So this is where we utilize our MetaTrader 5 app. So we go ahead and click on stop loss, that copy button, and it should copy. You go over to your MetaTrader 5 app. You go ahead and find BTC USD. Hold down on it. Click new order. And in this red area where you can see SL, that stands for stop loss. Just paste that number there. Go back to the app. You can see take profit one, copy. Go back to your app and paste it in the section where it said TP. All right. Now we want to know if this is a buy or a sell. As you can see at the bottom, you have a buy by market and sell by market. So let's go back to the app. And it's at the top here, you can see it says buy market. So let's go back and let's click on buy. Okay. So it said invalid trade because the market has now already gone past the take profit. Okay. So we wouldn't be able to get into the market has gone past the take profit. But I'm just going to change my take profit quickly just so that you can see what it looks like when the trade is open. So now on your trade page, you will see that you're in an open trade. You bought BTC USD. It's currently in $14 profit. It's fluctuating up and down. Now, once the market 
hits that number that we put in, which is 98,000, it will automatically close this trade for you. And then if you click on the history button at the bottom, you will get to see that trade here. So you will see if it closed in a blue, which means profit, or if it closed in a red, which means negative, which means loss. Okay. That is how you simply take, take it from their trade alerts. Now, you will get a ping on your phone every time a trade alert comes out. Um, yeah, that's fine. And you want to just make a note of the time. Okay, if it's four hours ago, it might be too late. Um, active, it just means that the trade is still going. It doesn't mean that it's closed yet. So you just want to keep an eye on that. Then you have the tap to trade option. Uh, this one has expired, so we can't do this. Um, but again, the stop loss is there and the take profit is there. It doesn't take you two minutes. Just have both apps open to go and copy and paste into those apps. The trading account is connected, 10,000 balance. So that's the same as what's on my trading app. That is what you have to do to get connected. Now, once you've signed up with Akash, they will email you login details for your challenge accounts. All right, for your challenge account. So after seven days or maybe 10 days, once you feel comfortable with taking the trades, all you'd have to do is come back to getting started and you will pretty much come down here. You will click on um, reset accounts, reset accounts. So it will take away all of these above credentials. And then you can go ahead and add the credentials for the trading challenge. And then you want to go over to your MetaTrader Trader 5 app and you want to log into an existing account, just like what we did with the demo account. Log in so you can see your 50,000 on your trading app as well. And then all the trades you will be placing will be placed on the uh, trading challenge. Okay, but it's super, super, super important that you do not rush that process. All right, because I want to make sure that everybody is very, very, very fluent with copy and pasting the trades at the bare minimum. You don't need to know anything about the market movement. You don't need to know how to read um uh, the, the trend lines, you don't need to know anything about pip counts. All you need to know how to do and to get familiar doing is copy and pasting the trades from the Akash app onto your MetaTrader 5 app. All right. So even here, the, the tap to trade option. So I showed you on the phone the trade alerts option, but then the next your trading account, you can use a live or a demo account. We suggest using a demo account prior to uh, connect in your live account. One, we've done that. Trades will appear in the tap to trade section of the Akash and you will have the ability to approve them. Once the trade has been approved, it has been executed onto your trading accounts. So on the tap to trade app, you don't even need to copy and paste. Once you click approve, it will automatically place those trades for you. All right. You are in 100 percent control and you can close the trade at any time. And you do that by on your MetaTrader 5 app, just pressing down the open trade and it will show you a close option and you can close it. If it's in profit and you're happy with the profit, you can close it. Um, all the trades that are called from a cash platform will have an entry price. It will have a take profit price and it will have a stop loss price with a countdown. The countdown has, if the, after the countdown has expired, the trade cannot be approved. All right. Which is what we saw on the um, tap to trade option. It wouldn't let us approve the trade because the countdown had expired. So that is your quick get started. So let me quickly take you over to your, um, let me yeah, quickly show you this. So on the back office here, we have the Academy. So they have uh, platform videos for MetaTrader 5, CTrader. If you click on that, it will be off. If you click on MetaTrader 5 iPhone, it will give you, show you what I've just showed you, but on an iPhone version. All right. Um, go back to Academy. They do have beginners information on Forex. They're going to have educated training series as well. So you have 
loads and loads and loads of content and value. If you want to learn more about the market and learn more about how the trading works, you can tap into those trading videos. Then you have the free and free. So if you know anybody else that wants to kind of get involved in something like this, you can refer them using your link. And once you refer three people, you don't have to pay your monthly subscription. As long as they are paying their monthly subscription, you don't have to pay yours. All right. But they also have the ability to invite free people and get their monthly subscription waived as well. So you can go ahead and do the free and free. Uh, if you click on that, your website link will be here. This is the link that you will send to them. All right. For them to sign up and get started. But you can send them this video to actually help them to connect their accounts together. So I'm trying to make it really easy for everybody by just creating a bit of duplication. So live sessions, um, I sh showed you this on the app, but the live sessions are also there for you to see. This one started at 10 a.m. Um, oh, I'm on, my laptop that I'm using is actually, a, it's, it's on USA time. <laughs> As you can see at the bottom, it says 6.58, but it's actually 11.58 in the UK. So 10 a.m. is gonna be 2 p.m. for me. Okay, so that's starting then. Then you have session replays, so you can catch up, all right? Then you have the trade alerts, which is what I showed on the app. Place this BTC one as an example, although I did change take profit one to take profit two, so the trade is still open. And But I definitely recommend everybody, if a trade alert comes in, take TP1, because the market is most likely to go from the entry to TP1. It may not go to TP2, TP3, or TP4. Although they're giving you four different take profits, always go with the first one, okay? And then the tap to trade, um, this is the one where you will literally click approve, but you can see it's expired, so we cannot do that now. But once these ones come through to your phone, you can click approve and it will automatically take that trade for you. And then down here, we have the free and free challenge so section. Sorry, my internet is moving just a little bit slow. And then we have the scanners as well. So this company does read these scanners if in the case that you want to be independent enough to take your own trades, all right? The scanners are there for you to learn how to read and you can take your own trades. They have a few different scanners here, um, but I'm sure the educators train you on how to read these scanners. But if you're really here to copy and paste, you don't even need to go down there. You can stick with the trade alerts and you can stick with the tap to trade option. And, and that is that, guys. So... Start on your demo accounts for the first seven days. If after seven days, you still feel like you want more practice, just practice on the demo account before you move over to the um, challenge account. Okay, they will send you an email with your challenge account login details, um, but you do not have to use the challenge account straight away. Now, the group that I will add you into, the WhatsApp group I'm going to add you into, which is the larger community, they will send the Zoom links out for their training session. So I know that on a Monday, I believe it's at 8 p.m. UK time, they do training sessions showing people and advising people the best way to pass the trading challenge, okay? So to make sure that you guys are well equipped before you actually start the trading challenge. So you definitely want to make sure that you plug into those. You may you might want to get on one or two of those calls, or you may want to watch the recording a few times just to make sure that you're in position to pass the challenge. We want everybody to pass the challenge. It's 50K on the line, pass the challenge. Now this 50K offer is going to expire on the 2nd of December. So right now they're saying they give you a 50K challenge and the profit split will be 90 10. So you'll be able to keep 90% of the profit. The company will take 10% of the profits. Now, after the promotion, it's going to go down to $10,000 accounts and the profit split will be the profit split will be 80-20. Okay, 80-20. So lots of people are getting in now to lock in that 50k challenge before the 2nd of December so that they can, of course, utilize that. All right. So hope this video has been really helpful to you. And of course, if you are sharing a cash X with other people, you can, of course, share this video with them as well to help them to get started um, in the right way so they can be in position to successfully pass in the challenge.
accounts. Now, in any case that you don't pass the challenge accounts, guys, the only thing you'd have to do is go to your Vantage back office live account, deposit some funds into the live accounts um, through the Vantage back office, and you can be two way. All right. Um, but passing their chat to get back to me. But I wish you all the best. And I know we're going to smash this, guys. 50K on the line. Let's do what we got to do to, to pass this challenger test and make sure that we are in on the 9010 profits.